Well, I got these powder coated 40s that we're going to try out. See if a buddy of mine will loan me a Glock. Or at least bring a Glock over so we can test them out and see how they do. But while I was loading them up, I had set aside 50. And I did have one case that I seen when I was loading it. I caught it. I could see it from inside the press just like that. And I seen that it has split down there. So we'll retire that one into the scrap bin. But I want to take this uh, with the powder coated bullet. And I'm going to sit there and see if I can't flatten that baby out and see if it will, uh, um, if it will flake off. So, let me get a hammer right quick. Alright, I got my hammer. And we're going to see if this thing's durable or not. So, got the old Craftsman hammer. And you can see there's nothing funny going on. It's the powder coated bullet that I did. And we'll take and just and I'm dropping everything. See if you can see that. I flatten that joker out on my tip. And that's off the off that case that was split. If you can see, really bonds to the lead pretty good, so it should protect it. We'll turn her sideways, and then I'll try and flatten it out that way. My camera will cooperate. jump around on me I have to say that that's a pretty durable finish I believe because <laughs> see she smushed flat as a pancake and uh You can see none of it flaked off so it should make a pretty pretty good jacket on the bullet just out of the uh, paint see nothing's nothing's coming off on my hand so I think that's pretty good <laughs> Now, we just gotta go shoot him.